One goal after another, Canadian-born Michael Thornton is not an average teenage kid. At just 13 years old, he is equally skilled in both left and right feet. He can do fancy tricks and fancy footwork with a soccer ball. Such talent has impressed some of the world's most renowned leagues. Earlier this year, he played and trained with Spain's Real Madrid, Italy's AC Milan, France's PSG and England's Manchester City, and all have invited him to return to the academy. However, as promising as his future holds, Michael is not an ordinary child living a normal lifestyle. When he was just six years old, he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, in which one's own autoimmune system attacks the pancreas cells that are responsible for producing insulin for the body. There is no immediate cure. He has to wear an insulin pump constantly attached to his body and check that his blood level is just right. Um, about five to ten times a day before every meal and whenever I'm not feeling right. You get like so much headaches because it's so high and you're like really thirsty and it's almost like a really sick feeling and when you're low it's like no energy at all you just want to like lie down and pass out almost. Before each intake of food he must needle the tiny fingers to check the blood level and then calculate how much he should eat. This test has also been a hard challenge for the entire family. Type 1 diabetes is it's 24-7. It never takes a holiday, never takes a vacation. Um, so when we're young, uh, we, we don't have to be responsible. We have that joy, that luxury of being irresponsible, playing, not, not worrying about where our, our, our toys are, or we get our clothes clean, everything happens for us. But Michael has to think 24 hours a day about how he's going to deal with, with his um, disease. He has to deal with um, when he's uh, eating, he has to prepare how many carbohydrates he's going to have to have. He has to figure out his insulin. He has to make adjustments for how much activity he's had, constantly test himself. I was pretty scared. I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea what diabetes was or anything. I, I really didn't know why, but I just saw my parents crying, and it got me so sad that they are crying, so I just had to stay strong you cannot let that that control you or whether it be diabetes or any other type of disease you cannot let that define you and you cannot let that control you you have to continue on you have to rise above you have to go outside the parameters that people may think these diseases have and just go for it the only thing that can control or stop you is, is yourself so you just strive for it and you'd be amazed what you can be accomplishing it is easier said than done. For the past seven years, the family has struggled tremendously, but has learned to have a positive attitude in order to win the battle. Today, Michael is a juvenile ambassador for the Diabetes Association of Canada and is actively involved with the communities to raise funds and to inspire other children who are struggling with illnesses. My goal is to try to be the best soccer player I can be with diabetes and show pretty much like the world that Diabetes won't stop you and diabetics are just the same as anyone else without diabetes or with anything else. Um, so that drives me forward to, you know, show other people what, what I can do. Driven and determined, Michael is not brought down by his illness, yet he has found what he loves and is making sacrifices to accomplish his goals. A little goals. bit like going out with my friends and stuff, but I just, soccer means I just love soccer so much. Um... You know, I may miss, like, a little bit, like, going out with my friends and stuff, but I just, soccer means more to me than that, so I can just, I, I just have to deal with it. And as for Michael, he will be getting ready again for the next training in Europe with the international leagues to perfect his skills and hopefully be signed as a professional soccer star one day. He is certain that his disease will not be stopping him from achieving his dream and hopes that he can inspire others to do the same. Don't let diabetes stop you. Just do what everyone else does without diabetes. Don't let, like, let it bring you down. Just do what you can.